everyone, welcome to another unboxing and another Miele vacuum cleaner. This one is one of the full size complete models. This is a complete C3 Eco Line Comfort Boost. I bought this because it was on offer and I thought, why not? So, this is an 800 watt vacuum cleaner, but it does have a boost. I think it boosts to 1200 watts using the boost button on the handle. Now, I wanted this particular complete Miele because I think it will make a good comparison to the Miele Blizzard that I demonstrated a while ago. Because basically it has the same sort of features as the Blizzard using the remote handle, but it is obviously a bagged machine. So to do a direct comparison between the Blizzard and this might be quite interesting. So hopefully that will be coming up at some point, but I will be doing a demo of this on its own, of course. Yeah, it's a very nice blue colour. Alright, let's take out the cleaning tools first and have a look at those. And then we'll get the machine out. Alright, there we go. So, this one, as I said, has the RF remote handle, which basically means you can switch the machine on and off and adjust the speed without having to touch the vacuum itself. Now it uses a small battery which is located in this little compartment here. It's uh, one of those little round batteries. Uh, I think it's a CR3032 or something like that. Anyway, it's easy to get hold of. You can get them in all supermarkets and it should last you quite a while. There is one fitted in this because as I press the button you can see a little light illuminates. So that sends a signal to the machine so there's nothing inside the hose this is a regular hose which means it's lightweight some older machines with remote control used to have a wire running in the hose which could make the hose a little heavier and not as maneuverable so using the RF frequency control gets that uh, sorted for you you don't have to have anything as you can see that comes off if you need to unblock it in fact if I was to have the machine plugged in now and press the on off button it would actually switch on it doesn't even have to be connected to the hose but obviously it would be a benefit if you want to use the vacuum so there we go that's the hose and that's the cleaner end now this is Miele's dedicated hard floor nozzle now I did try this with my blizzard but it wasn't really suitable for a vinyl floor the best flooring this is designed for is if you've got exposed floorboards with um, crevices. Obviously dust and dirt gets down those cracks. This is designed to clean that type of floor. On a smooth floor it just sticks to the surface and it snow plows everything. But it's not meant for that. But that is the dedicated SRD hard floor nozzle. But you do get of course your main Ecotech head which is suitable for both carpets and hard floors. Dual pedals, so it means you can press either side to lower the brush. So there's a brush at the front. It goes, goes around nearly all the way around the nozzle actually, apart from two areas where there'll be some side suction. Partly metal base plate to help the machine glide over the carpets. Two litter pickers, a nice deep suction groove. Nice big wheels for maneuverability. And of course it articulates up and down and rotates. This type of nozzle is designed to stay flat to the floor so when you're pushing and pulling it, it always stays flat. It shouldn't skip across the carpet. It's designed for use with machines with lower wattages but it'll still give good results. So obviously that is used for your carpets and hard floors. If you've got particular delicate floors or you've got parquet flooring, Miele do a dedicated parquet twister nozzle which I would recommend if you've got lots of hard floor to clean. But as I said, you can use this nozzle on most hard surfaces. Finally, we've got Miele's telescopic extension tube. They always feel a little bit greasy out of the box. So I'll just need to give that a bit of a wipe over. It's obviously from the factory, but that's a decent quality telescopic tube. It locks in various positions, so you can adjust it to suit your height or the height of whatever you're cleaning. And it uses Miele's click fit sit system so basically the nozzle just clicks in very securely it's not going anywhere until you press the button there 
and you can just pull off the nozzle. That doesn't work with the small accessories, they're friction fit. They're actually built into the machine. I'll show you those in a moment. Right, that's everything. Apart from the instruction book, again, if you want to buy this machine and you want to have a look at the instruction book before you buy it, you can go on Miele's website and you'll find a download section where you can look at the instruction books for any Miele appliance, not just vacuums. So there's the instruction book. I'm not sure if it'll have the energy label inside here. Yes, we'll just read that in a minute. So it's in many different languages. Oh, there's a car. Oh, what's this? I've got a coupon. Don't know what that's about. It looks like it's for some bags. I don't know what that. <laughs> I don't know what that gives me. It's. I uh, can't really tell. Anyway. Oh, here we are. Yeah. Ah. Oh. To claim your special price and free delivery of Miele Original High Clean Dust Bags, please visit the following page in your country. Right. Ah, this voucher is redeemable, so it depends when you're watching this. You might not get a voucher in your particular one, but it's redeemable up until the 31st of December 2017. So I'll have to go online and see what that um, gives me. But it looks like um, that's a big, that's the XXL pack they do. Not sure how many bags you get in there. Was it 20? It could be a voucher code to get money off that. So I'll have a look at that. I'll, if I find out, I'll put in the description below what that entitled me to. Right, quickly look at the energy label before the machine itself. So it's obviously an A for energy use. It's a 800 watt vacuum according to the box. And it will use approximately 27.9 kilowatt hours per annum. It gets an A rating for dust emissions. So it means that the air expelled is cleaner than the air that's sucked into the machine, so it's good for allergy sufferers. It gets a C rating for dust pickup from carpet and an A rating for dust pickup from a hard floor and it's relatively quiet at 72 decibels. In fact, I thought it was 800 watt, but it does actually say on here 700 watts, so I'll have to look at the label on the cleaner to see which is correct. Okay, let's have a look at the machine itself. And a nice navy blue colour. Whoops, that's all broken. Let's hope the machine's okay. Oh, that's broken as well. Oh, dear me. Well, don't often get all the uh, polystyrene broken on a Mueller. Right, as long as the cleaner has survived. Yes, yeah, very smart, very smart indeed. Now, as I said, as far as features goes, this is about the top of the line you can get. There are other machines similar to this that have different nozzles. Of course, you can get the cat and dog version. There's, a, the, there's the solution version that's got other nozzles as well as the main turbo nozzle. But this one, as far as features, having the remote handle is, I would say, it's the most deluxe one you can buy at the moment in the UK, apart from, of course, they do the very expensive version with a power driven head. But even that one I don't think has remote on off. Um, I think the handle on that only has an on off for the power head. You still have the controls on the cleaner. Oh, it's smart. So Comfort C3, complete C3, Comfort Boost, Eco Line. Let's just check the wattage. No, it does say maximum 800. It does say 700 as well. But as I said, there is a boost that boosts it for a period of time up to 1200 watts and then it goes back to its normal setting. This particular one is made in Germany of course this one has the dynamic drive casters very smooth running you can tell that this is a quality vacuum just just doing that compared to some of the Chinese made vacuums I do that too and you get an awful scraping noise of the plastic on plastic. Miele certainly know what they're doing when it comes to making vacuums. So dynamic drive means it's basically got a little bit of suspension. There's a little bit of give in those, which helps it to move over different um, heights of carpet and over threshold strips, etc. You've got your tools built in, rather small tools, but that is your upholstery nozzle with your litter pickers. Pretty short, stubbly crevice tool. You can buy additional tools for the Miele. They won't store on board, but they do a full-sized um, crevice tool, as well as a much longer flexible tool as well if you, you've got particular 
areas you need to clean in between your fridges, right down the sides of your sofas. You can get lots of optional tools. You can, of course, buy the full-size turbo brush for this. You can buy the mini turbo brush. In fact, there's two types of turbo brush. There's the mini one and the ultra compact one, which is ideal for doing inside your car. All sorts of different accessories available on Miele's website. That's the more deluxe. Some of the cheaper um, lower end Miele's have nylon brush. That I think is a natural bristle brush. Quite small but it's good for doing your blinds and your hard surfaces. That will angle to different positions but you need to ensure that the little dot is lined up with the arrows there in order to put it back in the cleaner. You've got a bag check indicator and the bag, oops, there we go, that's a bit stiff, takes the GN type bags so they seal automatically when you open the lid and you just remove them by pulling. It's normally a bit stiff and you just replace that. Um, as I said, it's, it's good, you only get one bag with this, no spare bags, so get yourself a packet of bags before you get the machine or when you get the machine so you're never without your Miele. You've got a pre-motor filter just there. That used to come supplied with the bags, I'm not sure if it does anymore. And on this one, this is the Air Clean Plus filter. I'll just pop that back in, hang on. There we go, it needs to click in, pop that back. And you can't use the machine without the bag incidentally. If you try and close the bag door now you can't. The bag has to be in and it has to be fitted properly. Make sure it doesn't go over the sides, make sure it's tucked in so the seal will work. Now this needs removing. This is what Miele call the time strip exhaust filter. I'm not sure, I've never seen it work, but that is supposed to show you when to change the filter. There's a little strip here that changes. I think the colour comes across. On average, these filters last about a year. You're not supposed to wash them. So, as I said, supplied with this particular one is the Air Clean Plus 50. On lower, med lower models to this, you get a different type of filter. I think this is possibly the top filter. The cat and dog versions do have a carbon layer as well to um, absorb any pet smells. So if you've got cats or dogs, you might be better going for the cat and dog version, unless you specifically like the idea of having the remote handle, but of course you can upgrade to any of the turbo nozzles. So that's a little bit stiff, but anyway, there we go. So on the back here is the control panel. And it looks like there's a little bit of protective film. Yes, there is. Let's carefully remove that. Just protecting the panel from scratches. Doesn't want to come off. There we go. So, there is some controls on the machine. You've got your mains on off. You've got Miele's Comfort Cord Rewind, which basically means you only have to press that once, either with your hand or your foot, and the cord rewinds into the machine. You don't have to keep your hand or foot on that. You just press it once, and the cord that's here will just rewind into the cleaner like that. There's various lights on here that indicate the setting you've got on the handle. These will light up for minimum for your curtains and lightweight fabrics. There's a higher setting for your upholstery, Another setting for doing your area rugs. Another setting, that's the silent setting for general cleaning at a lower uh, noise level. Then you've got your fitted carpet setting and then you've got your full power maximum for cleaning your hard floors. And there's two buttons here. Reset, I believe that's when you um, change the filter, you need to press the reset button. And that's a manual button as well. I'm not sure exactly what that does, but I'll... <laughs> I'll describe it when I'm doing the full demo, but I'm sure that's uh, in the instructions. It says it's a manual button for something, manual override, I think. There's a little slot at the back, your parking slot, which means you can park the larger nozzle on the machine there when you're pausing. Obviously, it would have the hose and tube attached. And you've also got one on the back. Oh, sorry, it's on the side on these. It's on both sides on this. That's your storage position when you want to either for when you're carrying the machine fully assembled or when you're storing it in your cupboard. 
Right, I don't think there's anything else I can show you on the cleaner itself. So let's pull out the cord. Now I'm not sure, I don't think it does. Some models turn off automatically when you park them. There's normally a little micro switch in there, but I don't think that has. So let's pull out the cord. Again, it just feels quality, very well made. Nice smooth action. Quite a nice long cord, there we go. Now I've pulled it out to its fullest extent. I just like to just let it go in a little bit. I don't like the, to feel that there's any strain on the cord. So once I've pulled it out, I just sort of let it go in a couple of inches just to make sure there's no tension. Right, let's plug her in and uh, see how quiet she is. When you plug in the cleaner, you'll notice the little mains on indicator lights up to show you that the machine's plugged in and ready for action. I've just noticed that pressing the manual button does switch the machine on here. And that's in full power. So I suppose that is useful if your battery has gone on your remote handle and you still want to vacuum before getting another battery, you can actually use the manual button. I'm not sure if you'll be able to adjust the speed. Let me just try pressing the manual button again and pressing it. I think it just turns it off actually. Yeah, it just turns it off again. That is your mains on off, your pedal, but normally once you've turned it on, I think it will stay on. As long as you plug it in, that light illuminates. So, to control the machine when you're cleaning, obviously, connect the hose first. It's a very smart looking vacuum. And I must say, I mean, I've, I quite like the Blizzard, if you must have a bagless mealer, obviously the Blizzard at the moment is the only machine you can buy um, if you want a mealer bagless cleaner. I found it quite heavy and clunky compared to a bagged machine. This, a lot lighter, easier to handle. So, speaking of easier to handle, we've got the remote handle. So when I turn it on, pressing the button here, Going to maximum, I can adjust the suction. And what I think you can turn it on using the plus or minus button. Yes, you can. So if you turn it on using the minus button, it goes into minimum power straight away. And I'm assuming if I turn it on using the plus button, it should go into maximum. Yes, it does. And of course, if you keep your finger on the plus or minus, the machine will lower or increase the power depending on the setting. Right, I, st I still think it looks very smart. Let me just check that it doesn't switch off when you park it. Oh, it does. It does, it even switches off when you park it. So this has got all the bells and whistles. So I think now if I remove the, um, machine, the handle from the, no, what's it called? Not the handle. This thing, what's this? I've got, just having a bit of a senior moment. That doesn't bode well, I'm not, I'm not that old. Right, when you park the wand and the nozzle, it should, so it's turned itself off, so if you want to answer the door, you just pop that in there, the machine switches off. So I'm assuming when I pull it away from the machine, it should turn back on to the setting it was on before I turned it off. Yes, oh no, it doesn't. <laughs> Well, that's bizarre. Isn't that odd? It turns off. Let me just try that again. Well, it turns off, but when you take it out, it goes back into standby mode and you have to switch it on using the handle. Well, I don't think I can cope with that, but it seems a bit odd that it does that because I've had previous mealers that have turned off and automatically started up again when you remove the wand from the parking position. Okay, enough chatting, let's have a go and see how easy it is to push on this carpet. Okay, before I give this an initial run over the carpet, I'll adjust the handle to suit my height. Uh, that's about it. And we'll switch the machine on. I'm not sure what setting it will default to, but I'll make sure it goes into the carpet setting. Now, considering that's 
an eco head that doesn't stick to the carpet like a lot of them do. And that's not on maximum though, it's on the setting that Mila suggests for fitted carpets. I'm just going to try it on maximum. It's not too bad, it's not as easy um, to push. If you had a turbo nozzle on, they're a lot easier to push than a straight suction nozzle, especially a low energy suction nozzle. But even on maximum, that wasn't particularly difficult. There's been some machines I've tested when on maximum you can barely move the nozzle, which is ridiculous. So I'll just try in boost while I'm here. Now yes, in boost it is a little bit harder, still not that difficult on this particular carpet, but boost is not meant to be used all the time. But I think with the suggested setting for the fitted carpets, you know, it's not such a workout. But if you just want to do your regular cleaning, I suppose the silent setting would be sufficient. So let's lower the power. So that's very easy. So I think silent setting is as good as anything, really. But anyway, yes, there we go. Pretty pleased with that. Let's just rewind the cable. Oops. There we are. Right, all in all, well, I, I knew what to expect. It's a Miele. I've got several Mielers. I know what they're about. And I've, I've had a machine very similar to this. It's a higher wattage one, it's the earlier version, but I've been happy with that. So, if you want the full demo, please subscribe. I'll be doing my full tests. I'll be putting down some dirt, seeing how convenient this machine is to use. But all in all, I do know Miele cleaners, Miele cylinder cleaners, on the whole, are convenient to use. And this one, with all the bells and whistles, especially the remote handle, which I do find very useful. Obviously, there are many other models similar to this you can buy. As I said, if you want to clean up after cats or dogs, get the cat and dog version, unless you specifically like the remote handle. And then, of course, get this, and you'll have to fork out 40 to 50 pounds, though, for the full-sized turbo brush. Right, if you have any questions about this Miele, please ask in the comments section below. Please thumb up the video and stay tuned for the full demo very soon. Thanks for watching, and it's bye for now.